I just have to say, I have the worst allergies today. I, it's not COVID, I got tested, we're good. But like, I feel like someone put a balloon in my head and then blew up the balloon in my head. That's kind of how I sound too, but I actually don't feel as bad as I sound. I get this every season, like I get allergies and then the allergies turn into kind of a head cold or they feel like it. Maybe it's just still allergies, but it just feels like a head cold. I don't know. I'm fine, I'm literally fine. <laughs> we got another dog. <laughs> This is Bash. Hi, Bash. And then don't worry, we still have Link. We still got Link. So Bash is it's Alex's brother's dog, but then Alex's brother is moving to North Carolina, I believe. Oh God, I'm out of breath. Um, she took him in for an undetermined amount of time, but yeah, that's Bash. He's cool. We're cooking today. Hi guys, how are you? We're cooking. Let's cook. We're cooking this. Look at that. How good does that look? This screamed to me because the word toasties is a word that you often hear in Love Island, UK. They always talk about like their toasties for breakfast and stuff. And I was like, what the fuck is a toasty? So it says here, a chimmy toasty is an Argentinian style spin on the classic British toasted sandwich with seared cheese, a tangle of caramelized onions and a drizzle of creamy chimichurri. This sounds amazing. This definitely sounds very rich. <laughs> um, also, I love that they called it a tangle of onions because like they're all tangled together so pretty boom you know the drill hello fresh you guys if you have followed me for even the past year you know how much i use hello fresh i've been using hello fresh for 2018 was that four years three years now so long hello fresh is everything so for those of you who don't know hello fresh is a subscription box that delivers meals to your doorstep every week this is the most convenient thing everything is measured out perfectly for you i'll show you in a sec they have meal plans that are for two people and for four people hello fresh is really nice for nights or meals when i don't want to put too much like mental effort into it everything's super quick and easy and average about 30 minutes they also have a quick and easy option that's about 20 minutes so there's really no excuse i feel like that's the most common excuse with cooking is people say they don't have time but it does have to work for you on top of being incredibly delicious and super convenient they're also a really good company down to their core just in 2020 they donated over 4 million meals and they're going to continue to do so especially through everything happening with the pandemic that means so much to me whenever i work with a brand that like is also just really good like down to their core oh i love it in my time working with hello fresh like physically cooking their meals i've learned so much they teach you so much of just basics how to make different aiolis sauces how to perfectly saute something if you guys want to check it out go to hellofresh.com and use code kmacasey12 for 12 free meals plus free shipping you can also pick what meals you want or you can just have them surprise you i always like it when they surprise me because then I, I don't know it's like a little christmas box like it's a little i don't know what's in there and it's a surprise and it's a challenge you know what i mean so usually before i even open the bag i always look at step one because that's usually when they tell you if you need to like create anything prep anything um which i need to do both those things i need to adjust the oven rack to the top position and preheat to 425 degrees wash all the produce and prep that so quick montage let me do that real quick is prepped i have the garlic in the garlic mincer i just i don't know how people mince garlic by hand i mean i i do know how but like how do you have the patience to do it i see this in literally every video that i use this this is my favorite kitchen tool i think this is like the most useful thing especially for somebody who eats so much garlic if you don't know what it is you'll see how i use it in just a sec but like i say it every time i love it i love it um everything else is minced i didn't cry as bad as i thought considering i'm a little congested i totally thought it would just be like snot everywhere not that bad these are preps preps oh yeah dog these are prepped i have to toss them in olive oil and then some of the southwest spice and roast them for some some fries i usually am not a um, potato wedge person i have this really weird theory is not the right word um phobia that's a little intense just like something towards potato wedges you guys i don't know what it is growing up I went on a lot of road trips, so a lot of food where, you know, we'd take a pit stop in front of a Safeway and my mom would be like, all right, like get a deli sandwich, like let's go, we gotta get on the road. She would always get potato wedges from the, the hot food section. It was like their potato wedge fries. And I get 
very car sick. If I'm not driving, like so car sick, not good. And obviously as a kid, I wasn't driving because I didn't even have my freaking license. So the potato wedges come back in the story because I ate them so much growing up and I also threw them up so much. We'll see how this goes. I hope that story made sense. You see what I mean? Like I was car sick, so I threw up, I don't know. I always get questions where I get these salt and pepper shakers. Um, I think it was just Amazon. I think I just typed in like simple shakers and it was, it was like the first one. Okay, let's pop these in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes and then start everything else. My nose is so red. I also didn't wash my hands after the jalapenos. Now my nose is on fire. Okay, so the next step, it says to caramelize the onions with a large drizzle of oil. Add the onions until they're browned and caramelized. Then add a teaspoon of sugar and a splash of water. That really, really gets them like sweet, which I'm assuming is the goal here considering everything else is quite savory. I just noticed this is the cheese. It's like very thick, like hard, but not like a hard cheese. It's like still kind of squishy. I don't know, but I was skipping ahead and looking at step five. And in the pan, you can see that it's like cheese steaks. Like it's not gonna fully melt like cheese usually does. I don't know, could be cool. It's so weird like feeling like this, especially during COVID time. I feel like everybody's just gonna think I have COVID. Head colds are still a thing. You could still get those, but everything is just like 10 times scarier now. There's no better smell than caramelized onions. Oh my gosh. Um, while that's cooking, I feel like I haven't updated you guys too much on this channel. <laughs> this angle, I feel like it's so high. Every Monday, I go live on Triller and I have a show called Chop It Up and I cook. So if you guys enjoy my cooking content and you don't get it enough on YouTube, because I know you don't, because I know I kind of suck at posting on YouTube and I'm really sorry about that. I do go live every single Monday and I play a little game with you guys where you guys choose like a random food or I should say a random ingredient in a random type of dish. So I've, I mean, I've, ac I've actually also played it on this channel before. I pick out of a jar. So like I've done candy lasagna, I've done like sweet tacos. There's a Nutella tacos, I did that before. I will link my chiller down below. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's like so different doing something live because I can't edit it. Dave can't edit it. Like you guys are getting like raw me, which can be kind of stupid sometimes, which is definitely entertaining for you guys. So I just want to shout that out real quick. Okay, these onions look really good and I'm getting hungry, but I know that cheese is the worst thing to eat. When you have mucus. Did I mention I got my hair done? I don't know. Shout out to Alexi. Alexi Bishop. A-L-E-K-S-E-Y-B-I-S-H-O-P. I literally do not trust anybody else with my hair, you guys. It's also really dirty right now because I'm trying not to wash it as much after you bleach it, you know? Those look pretty good to me. I'm gonna add the sugar now on some low, low, low heat. It says a teaspoon, and I'm gonna estimate that that's a teaspoon. And then a splash of water. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's on super, super low heat. Now I'm gonna make the chimichurri and the toast. In a small bowl, combine sour cream, cilantro, lime zest, garlic, lime juice, jalapeno, cumin, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Pro tip, roll out your citrus before you cut it. It breaks up the little enzymes and you get way more juice. I have really weak hands. I swear squeezing stuff is like the hardest thing for me. Oh my God, I could just eat that in my mouth. I'm gonna get these out of the pan and I'm gonna do the cheese. I always love using the same pan when cooking like a cohesive meal because then all the flavors just like are stuck to the bottom of the pan and so many people wipe that out. I'm like, no, that's the best part. Hold on. Blow my nose break. Okay, I'm back with a red nose. You just throw them in. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Boom. One to three minutes per side. Oh, look at those. You hear that? They're singing. Oh my God, my stove wasn't on. These are potato buns, which I'm such a big fan of. I think potato buns are so underrated. Roast those bad boys. Literally for like three minutes, super quick. Oh my God, these look so good. Guys, holy crap. Okay, these are done. Holy shit, this looks so good. Let's assemble. Divide the buns, fill with the onions, then the cheese. God, Alex is going to love this. She is obsessed with cheese, you guys. Oh my God. No way. 
Holy crap. And then I'm gonna put the chimichurri on each top bun. Alex isn't home yet. She should be home soon. She went to go pick up disposable cameras that we had when we went skiing recently. My beloved potato wedges. Perfect timing, dude, come here. <gasps> Look at these. Holy shit, Kristen. Oh my God. It's grilling cheese, so it's meant to stay like full. This is it. Yep. This is like what you go to a brewery for. Yeah. You have this and a fucking tall glass of beer. Mm. Every time I need to like react, I'm like, I just want to keep eating. I don't want to talk. <laughs> it's so good. I'll be right back and finish this. Also, verdict on the potato wedges. I know I told you guys I didn't like them. They were pretty good. These don't give me that same terrible nostalgia that the Safeway ones do. They're obviously just made different. They're not like fried in the same stuff. I approve. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm absolutely never disappointed with HelloFresh. Ever, ever, ever. Again, check them out. I'll link everything down below. Take care of yourselves. Take your allergy medicine, because this ain't it. I'll tell you that. I'll see you guys next time. Love you so much. Bye.